Hello world and welcome back, I'm Carter the Great Bear of the North, and this is Software Inc. Alpha 10. At the tail of the last episode, this is what we were looking at, right? We had just released PixArt. PixArt is a it is a good 2D editor, but you know it's 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 fine. And we sold eleven thousand units and we have twenty-six thousand more in stock. And what I want to do is I want our marketer to to continue doing what she's doing. Because if we can make a little bit more cash off of this, then then it'll be all the better. And then once we move out to a new area, we can start to do some really, really cool stuff. So I actually want to create a new team. Marketing, there we go. And we're again gonna spread out the vacations across the entire the entire um the entire year so if they're not all leaving in one month it's not france where everything closes down um and the marketers will only market fantastic core is amazing as well and let's get one more person into the marketing room because this is going to be the room specifically for marketing there we go we have that we have another phone to make the marketer even better at what she does. And let's get one more marketer, add that person to the team marketer. And like I said, always go for the highest quality employees you can. Marketers don't even have specializations, so it doesn't really matter. You can save a little bit of cash that way. Not that, I mean, once you've got cash, it doesn't really matter. Monty Anderson, highly skilled, under 50, great compatibility. Why wouldn't we hire that dude? Do we have any other great com compatibilities? We do. We do. So, you know, let's get Kim Morgan as well. And so we'll add, oops, we'll add one more desk to this room. Actually make it, assign it specifically to marketing. There we go. Assign this specifically to me. It's my room. Actually, in real life, this room is uh, my mother's closet. Um, she has so many clothes. It's insane. Um, she's not insane, just the amount of clothes she has. Uh, what else I was looking for? There we go, we got a phone. There we go. So we're gonna get our marketers spreading that. Hopefully, oh yeah, let's push out the contract work that we've got. 0.68. There we go. And we might as well work on bugs for the rest of the afternoon while we're also porting Pixar, and then we'll develop a new project. We're gonna develop a game. We're gonna develop an RPG set in Renaissance Italy. There we go, 13,393. How is our release for Pixar doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Wow. Did we just sell everything? Yeah, we totally did. So we have 3,000 copies left. So let's go with, let's get 100,000 copies and then we'll take this money and, and let's get a new, let's move out, let's move the company. Let's buy, let's get an empty plot in the city because where we're at right now is, is, is rural. It's just a tiny little town, tiny little town. The town that I'm in only has about 7,000 people. So. Um, we're gonna move into into the big city. We're gonna move into, in my case, Toronto. Ah, oh, it feels weird saying Toronto. It's Toronto. So it's cold. We we'll do live in Canada, and then boom, we will take our we'll take our crew, and this is our this is our little plot of land. This is this is the little area of land that we own. We can also buy this for three hundred fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah, you know we might as well plan big, right? So let's. We're not going to spend it over time. We're just going to buy it. We don't. Yeah, let's get the entire thing as a down payment. Yeah, there's no loan. There we go. So we own this entire area, and uh, that means. Oh, that's that's weird. That's very strange. Actually, here. Let's before you forget. Let's build a little parking lot. Boom. There we go. That parking lot, and then another. Parking lot that should support the entire rest of the building, and this is only like a two-story building. We can always buy more plots elsewhere, right? Look at all those empty, empty plots for us to build in. Oof. That one's big, but that's like a park. 
anyways, this is going to be our core area. This is going to be like marketing, eventually we'll do distribution, I guess, in here too. So we'll make the core building this chunk right here. And then this area will be a server room. This area will be a, um, a, a distribution center and things like that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's build. the final product we've got a large meeting room in here we've got a lounge which I don't believe actually has any lights let me fix that there we go there's some lights in the lounge we've got a lounge there we've got a room for our a new tech support team to help us the people that you know have some problems with PixArt we got a new marketing room this this is my room I'm the boss and then this is the the, the core development team and I've given everybody on the tech support team calculators to help them with programming. I've given everybody in the marketing room a phone to help them with marketing. We've got a little reception area out here. I'm really liking how this works. We've got parking lots. We've got parking lots. We've got a server, which actually occurs to me. Let's select everything. There we go. In that room, let's call that server. It's not going to be called server zero. It's going to be called Grizzly because they're all going to be based off bears. Yes, the same one I used in the last series, but so be it. Uh, we've got air conditioning, we've got heating. It's amazing. And then we're eventually going to expand this into like a warehouse or whatever, and I guess this can be another like little programming wing or something like that. Maybe we can, I don't know, I really didn't think throughput. Like this was intended to be a massive warehouse, right? So I didn't think of throughput through here, but uh, I guess this can then be marketing or tech support and we can expand this, whatever point is we do still have this area as well and we still have how many copies of we have 103,000 copies of Pixar which is fantastic which is absolutely fantastic um yeah and I've got my own little my own office here I like it look at that off uh between episodes I'll, I'll worry about making things look better um but right now we just want to get back to playing the game. So that was probably, what, 25 minutes of real time doing all of that. So, uh, yeah, let's get back to the game. What I want to do is I want to, well, first of all, I want to, I'm not going to do anything right now because marketing for Pixar is going to be assigned to the marketing team. I actually want two new marketers, two new really good marketers. There we go. Two new really, really good marketers. And there we go, it's for the marketing team. Boom. Ah, let's go for skill. Bad, bad, normal, very bad, good. Okay, well let's get let's hire Thelma Thelma Pace and Ricky Salinas. Um so that's our marketing team, and they're gonna chill in here. And now in terms of, of our core team, what I want to do is I want to make a game. I want to make a game. So I'm gonna make a game called Il Condotto. Um, 
and it's basically you take on the role of an Italian mercenary captain in the Renaissance era, and you go around to conquer cities, but you also deal, um, you have to deal with the political machinations of the different people, the Deste, the, the Medici, the, the Sforza, the Popes, obviously Venice, you know, Genoa, the French, the Ottomans, craziness, the, the rest of the Holy Roman Empire. And so uh, we're going to do all of that, and it's going to be amazing. There's going to be music, 2D graphics, local multiplayer that will give us a lot of system will require a lot of system people but it's not going to do much um do we really want to do this local multiplayer yeah it's a new feature it's a new feature we'll find a game engine that can do all of this um vision 3d vision 3d what is what is the best one um well the render view 5 is the most recent one, so let's do that. Uh, the 2D editor will, of course, be PixArt. Uh, I just realized PixArt sounds a lot like Pixar, like the movie company. Please don't sue me. Uh, for the audio tool, let's get a great quality audio tool. The recent one is SoundPro 5. There we go, and it will be launched for Sloth 4 and Lion 2 operating systems. It will give us 974,000 potential people. There we go. The server will be Grizzly, source control management, all of the stuff will be on Grizzly, that server that we just built, so people can get together and it will be really, really good. And we're going to develop it. We're going to develop Il Condotto. Now, Il Condotto needs three. We have... We have our designers, right? Wait, why do we have three? Monte Anderson, they were supposed to go to marketing, weren't they? Oh, dear, I have too many marketers. I have too many marketers. Since I realized at the end of the last episode, I hired some extras. Dang it. Oh, well, we have a five-person marketing team. We have a five-person marketing team. Oops, because I'm not going to fire anybody. That's not, that's not how I roll. That's not how I roll. Um, so Il Condotto, need, we have one designer, but we also need uh, it said three programmers and three artists. And the pro, the, we need 2D algorithm and system. So do we have any artists? No, we don't have any artists. So let's hire two 2D artists, one audio artist. Let's do this. Let's begin looking. Skill, bad. Amber Nichols, that's bad. Um, that's really not good. Oh, but she's so good at what she does. Like, so very good. Oh, well. We will hire Flora Shelton. And we will also hire Jill Smith. Those are my two 2D, um, 2D artists. We're also going to hire an audio artist. Boom. And this person is going to be Maureen Sullivan. Yeah, she'll get along with the others, and she's very good at what she does. So those are our three artists. Now we need two more programmers, so let's get an additional 2D programmer. 2D programmer, let's see, what are the... 2D algorithm and system. We're going to get a really good 2D programmer. Boom. Fantastic. Vern Hernandez. 2D programmer. Actually pretty good at other things, too. Also good at audio. There we go, and I also want one more programmer, but one that's going to be good at algorithms, because RPGs require a lot of algorithms, basically how all the systems work together in figuring things out. So, let's get a new algorithm person, Michael Ross, Michelle Ross. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a huge salary, but very good at what this person does. There we go, and they're going to be added to the core team, and we're going to get... Il Condotto. It's going to be amazing, but we might as well actually market it. Let's get a press release going. We do have five marketers after all. There we go. And we're also going to start to market. We're going to hype it. Because what happens with marketing in this game is in a pre-release mark. Okay. Once you've released a product, your marketing goes to advertising, getting people to actually buy it. Whereas pre-release, all the marketing, basically you're just telling people about it, right? Kind of like I'm telling you guys about Software Incorporated right now. I, I, I can kind of be considered a marketer for core dumping, I guess. So 
what the marketing team will do with their clone doctor, they're going to do like, hey guys, guess what? You know what would be really cool? Nobody would be like really, really cool? If somebody created a video game based on Renaissance Italy mercenary captains. Oh yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? So I hear Bearsoft is making just such a game. Oh, really? Yeah, and then they're going to make it. So that, that, that's, you know, that's kind of what the hype is. They do press releases. They tell the different newspapers about it, the different gaming magazines about it. Um, and things like that. So then people know about it beforehand. Beforehand. Now, we need tech support. I actually want three tech support. Two. Oops. Add that. And tech support three. Because what I'm going to do. Oops. Tech support three. Crunch. Crunch time forces all employees on a team to work a lot faster at the cost of satisfaction. Employees will work slower for a period after the crunch is over, depending on how long it lasted. Oh, well, that's fascinating. That is indeed fascinating. But anyways, what I want is I want my three tech support teams to come in on eight-hour rotating shifts. So there's always somebody dealing with the bugs at any given time. Why can't we... Oh, because they can't end at the same time that they start their shift. Right. So, tech support 1 goes from midnight till 8 a.m. 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. 4 p.m. until midnight. So that's how that works. And we want... How many people are on our... How many spots are... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to start with like three rotating shifts of five. So what's cool is that your tech support people actually are programmers, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some network programmers, and I don't really care about the specialization, and I'm going to set them up with on the tech support team. Five for each of the teams. And I mean, their skills are garbage. Their skills are garbage. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to hire Rory Hart, one, and then I'm just going to try to find people that work well with Rory Hart. Two, three, four, and five. So that's tech support. Tech support two is going to be based around Claire Hansen. Two, three, four, five. And tech support three is going to be based around Vera Kent. One. Oh, 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 nobody likes Vera Kent. Vera Kent is a horrible person. Okay. Okay, let's fire Vera Kent. Wow. She works well with nobody. What's her personality? Short-tempered misanthropist, and she looks grumpy. Okay, okay, why did I hire you? Fire, there we go. Oops. Hire employees, let's do this again. Programmer. Network programmer. Actually, no, well, let's get some different programs. Let's get some audio programmers. Um, and this isn't going to be core, it's going to be tech support three. Gavin Burton, stubborn and generous. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not a misanthropist. Um, Wanda Ballard, it's three, four, and Laurie Fitzgerald makes five. Good. Three rotating tech support teams. It'll be one, two, three. We'll all rotate through there. And this room is going to be assigned to all three tech, report, tech support teams. Fantastic. Fantastic. So now we are building... Oh, also, also in this... Let us hire two cleaning staffs, one at eight, one at one. The room will always be clean because I do have people in here at all times. We're also going to hire a receptionist so we can start to get deals. Let's hire a second one from one until five. That's their lunch hour, I guess. And actually one more overnight cleaner. Actually, one break and then for that. Um, and then let's go from 11 until 3. Let's hire a cleaner at all times. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. 1, 2, 3, 4 until 8. It will always be good. This last extra cleaning is right before I arrive. Because that's super important that everything is clean when I get there. So we have core, we have marketing. We have on the, mar on the core team, we have three artists. So let's make sure that the artists... Are they the ones actually doing art? There we go. Karhu is the only one designing. We have three artists. Nobody is doing marketing. Pixar does not meet demand. 
Pixar does not meet demand? Really? <gasps> How much money did we make from Pixar? We made $5 million on Pixar last month. Wow. Okay, so 100000 is clearly not enough. Let's go 150000 Let's totally try to make as much money off Pixar as we can. That's amazing! I thought we would do well. I didn't think we would do that well. Um, let's get a quarter million copies of Pixar. Wow. That's really good. I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited. Actually, let's also take our our core members. And now, see, we only have one designer. It's gonna take Karhu a couple of months to design this game, right? Actually, whoa, 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 change rules. You are not an artist. Oh, no, 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 yeah. You, sorry, you are an artist. You are an artist, you are not a programmer. Aha. Change rules, you are not programmers. There we go, so we have two programmers. Um, three artists, but it's going to take a while for us to get to the art stage, for us to get to the programming stage. So let's take our artists, let's take our two 2D artists, and we're going to educate them for, let's say, three months. That's how long it'll take. Them on 2D art, you on audio art, and our two programmers, we're going to get, this is our algorithm programmer, because we, we want them to specialize, right? The, Algorithm programmer will only do algorithm. Baron Hernandez will only be doing 2D programming. And Kahu will be doing the rest. So while Kahu is designing, because, you know, it's his company, um, everybody else will be educating themselves and it'll be fed. Are you putting your feet up? Flora Mathis? Flora Mathis? You are. How dare you put your feet up? That's not- no, 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 that's not what that's for. That is a meeting room. That is a meeting room only. Do not. You do not do that. And then this is the lounge. Oops. It can be for everybody. Room usage, that is just the lounge. There we go. And look at that. There I am. Walking into my office. There we go. Tech support is working. That is a huge queue. And it is only going up. Wow. Um, maybe... Oh, that's good a deal. Development for Clip Pro 7. Nope, not gonna do that. So what we're actually gonna do is... Let's hire some more... Let's hire some more programmers. Let's get three more on each. And these are gonna be system programmers. Why not? So, tech support one, skill, uh, no, let's get, let's get the young ones again. That way they can learn and still be good for us. One, two, three, tech support two, boom. Uh, one, two, three, tech support three, uh, good. Oh, there's a grade there, good, that's a great, grade is very good. And Eric Paul. So now we have eight on each of these. They will... Were cars driving right through here? Did you guys see that? Was there was there a car driving that just drove right through? Oof. Employees can't keep up with support for Pixar? Well, we just doubled, almost doubled the size of the teams. Um, print job, design... Oh, oh! Here's what else we can do. Here's what else we can do. I forgot to do this. We can develop a digital distribution platform, right? We could basically develop Steam in 1981. We're gonna open a digital distribution platform. Are you sure you wanna open your own digital distribution platform? All digital copies of your products will be sold through your own platform and will require adequate server capacity. Yeah, we're gonna do, we're gonna have the grisly digital distribution platform in 1981. The internet is barely a thing, but we're on top of it. We are so on top of it it's amazing, guys. Uh, your releases. How many? We have 262,000 in stock. Okay, we should, we've got plenty in stock. I just want to do one more month. And then we will see how this goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at all those people. Look at all those people in tech support. Aw, uh, yeah. One group's coming, one group's going. The marketing team is writing a press release for Ilicon Dato. We made $6 million off PixArt. Six million dollars off Pixar. Wow. 
If it's only for a good product, imagine if that were a great product. That's insane. That is insane. But that is also the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what we see, please like, please subscribe. Check these guys out, coredumping.com. They're fantastic. It's a fantastic game. You'll, you'll love it. Just trust me. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.